was in the studio and we was talking you was talking about like bat like you know getting bags off the music industry and you was like bro the shit go fast M the money come fast like 100k go fast what um but that was before and you wearing a rock hat that was before you got signed obviously you signed to the rock mm -hmm. um is, that, is this your first time being signed to like a major no i've been i've been signed three times oh so he didn't touch a couple bags oh, me. i've been signed what you pull up times. in <laughs> uh, old school bins. Oh. Oh, old school. Old school so why the rock this time? Um, you know it's interesting, bro. I've uh I've been signed three times, and I've been a part of different regime regime changes, and you know, really a lot of it was learning lessons and, and realizing having too much cooks in the kitchen, learning how to team build, learning how to um you know present yourself as an artist. Learning how to take control when you need to, but also knowing when to play the back. Um, I think with Rock, um, you know, you know, me and my partners was just looking for partners that um that had like the time to spend and and had the like the energy for it and wasn't too crowded or clouded with a bunch of, you know, other things that were going on. Mm -hmm. Um <clears throat> so I feel like Rock has like a smaller pool of artists that mm -hmm. they're uh more pulling focused. from and and I yeah more focus on and I think and I think outside of that like meeting them like they really messed with what I was doing mm -hmm. um and were willing to build um cuz I feel like the biggest thing that I because I started like kind of it's crazy cuz I'm a real human but like a lot of people might refer to me as an industry baby or like you know mm -hmm. somebody might look at me and say that because you know, from from other people's perspective, I, I've been signed three times. I've, you know, had a publishing deal. I've done these things. And, you know, I, I know a lot of A&R's executives. Mm -hmm. I know a lot. You know, I moved in the industry a lot. But because of that, the thing that I lack is community. Like, you know, building yeah. community and understanding who, mm -hmm. like, my core audience and, and building that up. So I feel like I went with somebody that was willing to work with me to do that versus somebody who was looking at me for the next hit or for, you know? Got it. I'm wondering if your past situations, like they weren't, did you experience something that was like, oh, you guys aren't really necessarily ready to, not ready, willing to invest in you? Like, was it one of those situations where you got there and they would just kind of like put you on the shelf type of thing? Research. Mm -hmm. Wanting to actually be an artist who sells something mm -hmm. versus just being an artist who does sit on the label and is shelved or gets the quick money and whatever the case may be. Um, and then aside from that, hey, bro, Exodus is on radio right now, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. how, how can I, I be mad? Like, I did all that stuff to get here and I learned a lot and it's actually really helping me. When I walk into the radio station, when I walk into those radio rooms and those things, I have a wealth of knowledge that I can use as a toolbox a, it's a toolbox that I can pull out my different tools and get to work. I get busy. So yeah. it's like as much as I do, I, of course, some days you're like, damn, like I could have saved X amount of time in my life doing if I just was more this or 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 or, or if or if these people didn't do that or whatever. I just put it on myself to say, like, man, like all that taught me this, and I was able to go write this record. I was able to go and, and be in these rooms. And, and now now the cool part about it is when I double back and I see those people, yeah. it's love. Mm -hmm. uh, like, you yeah, feel me? Like, yeah. like, it could never be hate because I'm wasn't. i not outside smutting you. I'm not outside being a, being a dickhead. I'm not outside, like,